Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, back at it again with another Clone Trooper CMF Series 2. As I promised in Series 1, uh, which you can check out right now in the card, uh, it got 500 likes, as promised, and now here we have Series 2. If you would like to see a part, or Series 3, then we will need this video to hit 750 likes. But with that said, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and let's get right on into it. Starting off with our first pick is Commander Apo. We see Apo in the Umbara arc and in Episode 3, and he was a sergeant at the time in uh, Umbara, and he would take over, obviously, for Captain Rex. Now, he would obviously have his little arrow on his helmet, and he would make his, I would make his accessory little data pad since he always seemed to be following around Krell or whichever general around with them, and I think that would be most fitting for the first pick. At number two, we have the Clone Trooper Tup. Tup was the first clone to prematurely execute Order 66. And I think the most noticeable thing about Tup is, you know, would be his hair print. He has like a little bun. So I would give him a little hairpiece bun as an accessory along with his head. And maybe I would have a print, uh, or maybe he would have the print of the teardrop that he has uh, on his tattoo, as well as a helmet and a one by one tile print of his rotted inhibitor chip which I think would be very cool for a Clone Trooper top minifigure. For number three, we have Clone Trooper Dogma. Dogma was a fiercely loyal to Krell Clone Trooper <laughs> until the point, you know, where he, he, he shot Krell. I would give Dogma a printed uh, face with his special markings, as well as his helmet and everything, and maybe handcuffs for accessories since, you know, he was arrested. I think that would be pretty cool for a Dogma minifigure. Next up... At number four, we have the one you have been waiting for, it is the Hardcase. Hardcase is the muscle of Rux's 501st squad. Hardcase would obviously also get a printed head with his tattoo and would obviously include his heavy repeating minigun. And I think it would make him an instant favorite just by that minigun and everything else, considering we haven't really even gotten one in LEGO, which is crazy. At number 5, I have a Phase 2 Jesse. Uh, in the last series, we had Arc Jesse, but I feel like the collection of these troopers would not be complete without a regular Jesse appearance. I personally would have him just have his plain old blaster uh, with a head print, and it would be like just the one we see on Umbara. It would be Phase 2 Jesse. I just think that would round off the collection and make it all, all perfect and uh, nice. At number six, we have a fa our first phase one clone. This is Denal. Uh, we see him as a prominent clone early on in the Clone Wars until he was killed by Cad Bane. Before that, he was a member of a 501st and a great soldier and Rex's uh, very close friend, I guess. You always see him around with Rex. Denal would come with a visor piece as well as, I think, a backpack. And another accessory I would have for him would be a thermal detonator, um, you know, which he could fit in his backpack. But I think that would be pretty cool, you know, since we see him rigging ships and stuff. And that would leave him to our number, number seven spot. For number seven, we have 99. 99 was a deformed clone janitor on Kamino who is beloved by all. 99 would include, I think, a broken down training droid, like a white uh, battle droid, as an accessory because, you know, he doesn't have as much cool armor and I think that would make him much more attractive. And I think most people would want him anyway because 99 is an amazing trooper and everyone loves him. But I think this would make him even more exciting for people that are, uh, you know, less excited about getting the one guy that doesn't have armor or anything. For our number eight, we have a very cool Commander Doom. We see Doom in season six of the Clone Wars fighting with Tiplar and Tipli. Doom would come with a helmet similar to that of Commander Cody's and a waist comma and pistols. Uh, you know, he's very cool. I think everyone can agree that Doom is a absolutely amazing looking clone and everyone wants to see him made that's no doubt about it now we have a little combo for number 9 10 and 11 i have the wolf pack clone troopers boost comet and arc and trooper sinker now these clones we follow in season one when they were with Plo Koon from the and wolf from the malevolence 
and then they also see them later on in the show. Uh, they would be in their Phase 2 appearance, and they would all look fairly similar. They all kind of vary when it comes to helmet prints, so I wanted to round them all up because they're all pretty much the same in terms of character development and all the rest. Um, but I think they would make a fantastic addition in terms of name characters and, you know, be a little entourage for Commander Wolf because, you know, Captain Rex has his boys, like, five Rex and, like, every other Final First boy. Cody has his Waxer and Boyle. So I think Commander Wolf deserves some people, too. At number 12, we have the amazing Commander Thorn. Thorn was the epic clone trooper who held a last stand against Count Dooku's forces, protecting Padme Amidala, the mother of Luke and Leia, so maybe he, like, saved the galaxy, I don't know. And, yeah, Thorn would have the same helmet mold as Doom or Cody, and he would also come with a red paint job and a heavy gun also used by Hardcase, which would make him an instant want. Number 13, we have... Commander Pons. Commander Pons was a soldier in the Grand Army of the Republic who served under Jedi Master Mace Windu. Uh, he obviously died at the hands of, uh, I believe, the Bounty Hunter or a Singh, and he would come with a special helmet print as well as a blaster and waist comma. For number 14, we have another Phase 1 trooper who served on Ryloth under Jedi Master Ima Gundy uh, in the, his final stand for the Twi'lek people. He would come with a droid popper, which I think would be most appropriate, and a pistol from the scene where he and Imagundi take their very last stand. He's very cool, and I think, you know, that would be awesome. At number 15, we have a Commander Hound. Hound would be a super fun character. He would have, a, you know, a recon helmet, as well as a waist comma, and he would also maybe come with his dog that we see him walking around in Season 5, and his that I think that would also obviously be accessory, and I think that would just make him so cool. But moving on to number 16, we bring back a clone from the last series, but in a different form. It is Experimental Echo. This would be Echo in his Season 7 appearance. His skin would probably be a little more fleshed out, probably use like the white skin tone we see we saw on the old Angry Clone Trooper, because of how flushed, you know, we see he looks in Season 7. He would have a custom head print, as well as armor mold, and maybe an arm mold, that's what I meant. Uh, and Echo would also have a new helmet with like a little thin line and a pistol to go along with this new figure. And number 17, I have chosen to do the Clone Trooper 5s in disguised armor. This would give 5s a plain Phase 2 armor as well as a face print and a Republic Officer uh, hat that he would, you know, put on that he got at the bar. I would not give him any accessories, but I think it would be nice to, you know, get another version of him, maybe some a nice uh, phase, phase 2 clone uh, torso. I think that would just be neat. Before we get into my last flick, please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, tell me what, uh, who I missed in the comments below, because I know there are still a few more clones of these, but not enough to make it into a series. But yeah, let's get into number 1. Or number 18, if you will, not number 1. This is our... Like, most probably desired figure. It is a battle-damaged Phase 2 Captain Rex from Season 7. Uh, we see Rex just not in good shape at the end of Season 7. He would probably have, like, a hole in his com in his uh, shoulder strap because, you know, he got shot in there. And he would have a battle-damaged battle, battle -damaged armor and maybe a shovel after he, you know, buried all his friends. <laughs> that, 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 they probably wouldn't do that, but I think that would be interesting. But the backpack would probably do. And I think this would honestly be a great figure. And... I would think it would be a fine addition to my collection. I don't know. Now, as I said earlier, I know it would be hard to do another Clone Commanders type line, but in the next video, I would most likely do a CMF with every Clone Trooper Legion. So if you want to see that, then please make sure to like. We need 750 likes to get this. Make And subscribe. Do all the other things. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.